had a difficult day today, um, obviously a 3-0 defeat, but on a personal level, performance-wise, not much more you could have done, I thought. I think performance, the personal performance is really secondary to the results right now, you know. We as a group need to be doing better and we need to be getting wins. Like It's great saying, oh, I've had a good game, made a couple of saves, you know, but I think every single person, including myself, we can do more and we should be doing more. The manager said simply that, you know, we cannot keep losing the number of goals that we are. Um, what do you put that down to, though? Because it's something that it seems to have been a turnaround in that area. Uh, that's, difficult. that's a difficult one. Uh, I think there's many reasons, you know. I think as soon as we conceded the first today, I think Airdrie were right behind the ball. And I don't think for the next part of the game until... When was their second goal? How, it was quite... Yeah, you know, it wasn't like they came back out and they battered us, you know, we were on top, we were moving the ball well, but I just think, you know, that's one one reason, but the goals are cheap and at the back we need to be doing better. Uh, can we ask the obvious one, what's the, the kind of mood like in the, in the camp at the moment after, after not just that result, but the, the recent string of results? Frustrated, you know, at ourselves. We should, again, <laughs> keep saying it, we should be doing better, we all know it and we're trying to put it right. But it is that right now. It's that real frustration that we're not doing that. We're not doing the business on a Saturday, and we want to change that. The difference today seemed to be the, let's say, the kind of clinical finishing that Airdrie did have. Mm -hmm. That aside, there wasn't a huge amount of difference in the, the play between the two thing, uh, two teams up to the final third. Yeah, you know, I think we definitely played the better football. They came with a game plan which you know we expected. We knew that's how they're going to play against them to us on the pitch to find a way of breaking them down and when they do get their chances in spells and games is keeping them out and I think plain and simply we didn't take the chances that we did create and I don't think we created many of them you know whether that's down to the way they play and the way they set up but we again yeah, just needs to be better like when they're on top they've got their chances it needs to be better and that's the thing, it is, it is that frustration that you know, we have made chances in previous games, but unfortunately we just can't seem to get them in the net. Yeah, yeah, you know, I think, I don't think we created much in the first half, I don't remember, remember the goalie making a save, but we go ahead 1-0 in a game, all of a sudden it's a completely different game. You know, we do, did create chances, we do create chances, we need to take them, but as soon as we concede at the back that goal at half-time, they'll be buzzing, they'll be getting reset, Right, same again boys, make it incredibly difficult, which they did, and fair play to them, they came here, they made it really, really difficult for us to play, they were horrible to play against, and I think that's probably the biggest compliment you can give a team. And that's, I think, credit to Airdrie for the result, we can't get away from that, I mean, 3-0 away from home, they'll be delighted with that, but how difficult is it to play against that system, because they did make life very difficult for us today? Yeah, it's very difficult, but they're not the first team to come and do it, and, you know, we showed we have beaten teams that have, have came and sat in before. And I think we need to do that again. We need to get to that level where they can't live with us because we are a full-time team and that counts for so much. You know, these guys are, I don't know if they are full-time or part-time or whatever, but we should be better than them. Falkirk should be better than Airdrie we weren't today. And, you know, credit to them. What do you think it's going to take for Falkirk to, to get back to that level? You said you want to get back to a level where other teams can't live with us, you know, playing good football, winning. Well, what's that turnaround going to take? Hard work, yeah. a real craft and a desire to not concede these goals. You know, give us a platform to go on and create these chances. Maybe at the end of a game, if we're sitting in 80 minutes into the game and it's 0-0, we're a bit more we're tighter at the back. We don't go into a game chasing it 2-0 with 70 minutes. Sorry, seven minutes gone. You know, that at that point the game's almost as good as done because they've got 11 players behind the ball. We're trying to create and there's just no space whatsoever. They've came in and they're doing what they've set out to do. Is there a belief at the moment, Paddy, amongst the, the dressing room that, that, that you know, this string of results can be turned around and we can get back up challenging in the, kind of, the top three, four positions? Yeah, absolutely. There is that belief in the changing room. You know, we've got really good players in there, really good quality players. We just need to make sure that we get the results. It's just that on a Saturday at 3pm, we go out, we give absolutely everything. I'm not saying we didn't do that, because we do. We, we do go out, we give everything, but... We just need to, need to find that way on the pitch, you know. It's not always down to 
the manager on the side. He can't influence once 3 p.m. happens, so it's down to us, I think. Done and dusted today. We appreciate it. it's always difficult after a, a home defeat, Paddy. But uh, moving forward now, a game on the road next week. Can we go away and get a positive result in that one? I think we have to. I think we just have to go. Make, do everything in our power to go and make sure we get back to winning ways and really start climbing the table again, back to where we should be. Here's hoping we can. Paddy, as always, that's your time. Thank you.